Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Let's Make an Open World RPG And in, <clears throat> in this episode I'm basically going to be telling you guys that this game um, I'm planning on releasing the demo The demo for, beta, um, for the beta version today, later on today So right now um, all I'm doing is basically working out um, some bugs Finishing off the weapons and the, some other stuff that I have to add in and I haven't been making videos um, Because I've been sick and I couldn't like really talk so I've just been working on the game and I'm basically gonna be showing you some changes that I've um, Added and some stuff that I've changed uh, First of all, let's go ahead and make our way. Oh, as you can see the skill bar at the I mean the quick slots at, to the bottom right has changed and also the health which well, which also changed but that was like a while ago I'm actually doing I was actually where I needed to go um so run 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 which is over here so all I'm basically doing right now is just collecting a whole bunch of stuff Equipment, um, official arena sword. So the arena is basically like a like a spin-off of Pokemon. There's gonna be two arenas in the whole game, one in over here and the other one in Mini Village. So basically, you have to beat off um ten of the arena ch champions, and then once you collect all ten medals, then you gain access to East Tower, which is gonna be a tower of one hundred um opponents and then if you beat all 100 of them you become the um champion i'm actually kind of cheating right now since um since i have the i have the god's ring on so it's boosting my health and actually my let me see since this is a um, brand new character, I just have my god. I just have um, equipped it really good stuff. So my my attack isn't really all that much. It's only at five, as you can see. My defense is high though. So basically, that's not what we're doing. So basically, this is um, the arena in Mini Town, and then the other one is in Mini Village. And you have to beat all of them to beat her at the top, and then after that, you move on to the next one. So oh yeah, um, equipment. Let me go ahead and change this. So. The model 2 is a shotgun, so I will demonstrate that to you. Um, actually, I don't want to die. But yeah, actually. So the model 2 shotgun, the MP8K is a I'm sorry, machine gun, and this one is a assault rifle. So right now, this is the most powerful one in the game with 200 attack. So as you can see, it gives me 200 right there. You can actually use that in the arena that you can only use the official arena sword just like the boxing matches. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, run for my life. So the swords, um I actually don't have any plans for this except to like put a whole bunch of slimes in and actually to put a whole bunch of enemies in um there is a building that i'm planning on putting in the middle actually close to the ending of this place but i actually don't know what i'm going to be using it for so right now the source i have no plans for it as of now it's just um a way to oh my gosh a way a way to expand on the world a little bit without actually like expanding on it so it's basically beneath the um the city so it's the the um the size of the swords is the same size of, as the whole city minus the woods and stuff so it's basically going um across the whole mini town so let me go ahead and there's a a lot of slimes in here yeah, let me run because I'm about to die. Okay. I actually haven't added a way to get out, so that's why I can't actually get out yet. 
So, um, oh yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and show you guys the... The casino. And what I've done with it. Um, I actually forgot to get myself a whole bunch of gold. So, I'm actually just gonna cheat my way into getting the tokens. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to tokens, which should be coming up soon. Here it is. So let's give myself a, a good amount of tokens, maybe a hundred, maybe two, but a good amount. That's good. Okay. So and we have these machines. Um, these ones are the slot machines. These ones are the uh, I don't actually know. The only ones I actually name is the slot machines, but these ones are the red jacks, which is a uh, black jack. Um, these ones are the heads and tails machines, so you basically just um, bet money and then you pick heads or tail, and if it lands on heads, you win. So let's go and start with the slot machine. Um, I had to invent all of these, so that's not actually graphical like um, things for you to look at. It's just a whole bunch of text. So slot machine play slots one out of eight. I mean. 108 out of one token left so you could choose to spin exit or you you could look at the information you will require one token to per spin and then it just shows you the winning spin so if you get one 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 you win 25 tokens if you spend five 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 you win 50 if you spend seven 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 which is a jackpot you win 300 and so forth so I, we're gonna go ahead and spin here so i spent 200 that's nothing so i lost spin again 300 that's nothing 707 that's nothing nothing i'm just gonna go ahead and spam this so i win something which i'm most likely not going to mm -hmm. a good way to lose a whole bunch of money and also a good way to win a whole bunch of money if you're lucky a good way to actually win money okay let me stop playing this follows on my money um, a good place to win the money is actually here at the heads um, tell machine. So basically, play heads or tell, you pick yes or no, and then you bet how many tokens that you actually want to wager. So let's wager 10. So that's 10 tokens out of our pocket. Heads or tell, which one should we pick? Let's, so it's a 50-50% chance of winning. So heads, you won, so I get 20 tokens back. Play again, sure, why not? Let's go with 5. I always pick heads because it does. It's a fifty percent chance, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick. So again, I won. So you could bet something ridiculous like forty tokens, and then pick heads, and then win eighty. So it's a good way to win a whole bunch of money. So bet eighty again. Let's see. Oh, I lost all eighty. Okay, so let's play the red jack. So play red jack. Yes. How many tokens do I want to bet? I will bet because you could actually lose this one fairly easily. Okay, let's get started. So I have 7 out of 21. So let me go ahead and hit. Now I have 12 out of 21. I'm going to go ahead and hit 17. So let me stand. It's a draw. So the way I have this set up is that the machine actually has a better chance of winning the game than you do. So at the first, um, you um, when the game starts, you pick it gets a uh, you get a random number between one and ten, while the machine gets a num random number between one and twenty one. So if the machine has um seventeen and above without going over twenty one, it's always gonna stay. If you're if it has a higher number than you do, but then if you have a number higher than it, then it's gonna have a one out of three chances of um hitting again so it's, it's designed in a way to um cheat for it but you actually win a pretty good amount of gains so let me go ahead and show you the kind of odds of that see i won right there although the machine is cheating i could still win a whole bunch of games why did i stand i meant to hit okay bet 10 again oh one again okay let's go ahead and hit so i have nine now hit 19 i'm definitely gonna stand and i lost okay that's that's okay that is okay hit me four hit hit 11 i'm gonna get a hit 12 so if i get a 10 now i lose okay 15 i'm going to hit there we go 19 is a good number and i lost wow okay Let's bet 10 again. Bang, 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 bang. Hit 14. 
19. I'm not gonna hit. I'm gonna okay. There we go. I'm going back. Play again. 20. Let's bet all oh, 20. Did I just one? Hit 10. Come on. Oh damn it. Come on. Nine. There we go. Stand and of course I won. But then if the machine also got 21, then it would have been a draw. So 40. Let's bet all 40. Hit. Hit. Ooh, 21. Lucky. Okay. That's two 21s in a row. So I'm going to bet 80. I'm a big baller, you know. I can't be betting chump change. 20. That should be good. And I lost because the machine had 21. Well, that's basically all the games I have. So if I go to my backpack, now I have 33 tokens. So uh, <clears throat> I've actually been losing a lot. So the purple one is a hands of shells, and that one's just a lot. So bring. Ooh. I have to take a bath, but basically I get a token and then I have I can turn it back in to win stuff. 